They say that knowledge is power and information liberating. Nowhere else is this more evident than in vulnerable communities. You see, every day, volumes of data are produced to track the financial and economic health of countries. Yet there is no such information to monitor the health of vulnerable populations. And what little we do actually know from censuses, surveys, and national statistics is lagged, which paints a distorted picture. Now, that's dangerous. But getting the right information at the right time can change everything. With the recent advances in information and communication technologies, as well as innovative adaptations of traditional data collection methods, gathering timely information from the hardest to reach populations has never been easier. Through a process called real-time monitoring, or RTM. What is RTM? Higher frequency data collection that informs policy or strengthens program performance. Why is RTM important? Because it allows for ongoing analysis of vulnerability factors so that corrective measures can be introduced to safeguard well-being at all times. When you think about it, it's a fairly simple equation. Communication spreads knowledge, knowledge inspires action, and speeding up these processes changes everything. In an effort to better understand the potential of RTM to support the most vulnerable children and families, UNICEF embarked on a study of innovations that are empowering communities around the world. Let's take a look at a few, shall we? The first stop is Yemen, where RTM is being used to track vulnerability buildup and respond to crisis situations. In 2011, the country was devastated by civil, political, and economic havoc. Despite the deteriorating conditions, there was no understanding of how vulnerable populations were coping with the multitude of shocks. In response, UNICEF Yemen launched a bi-weekly survey to track vulnerability factors like nutrition and water intake among a small sample of poor families in different regions of the country. iPads were introduced so that data collectors could transfer information in less than a day. This ongoing monitoring proved vital to informing the design of life-saving interventions. Moving over to Bangladesh, RTM is being used to improve service delivery. BRAC is changing the landscape of Bangladesh's pre-primary education system by using RTM principles to establish innovative monitoring systems. And the beauty here is in the simplicity. A BRAC monitor periodically visits different schools to test students and observe classroom behavior and student-teacher interactions. Ultimately, the information impacts multiple levels, from identifying children that need additional support to adjusting teaching techniques and even changing national policy. While many other RTM initiatives only cover project outputs, BRAC's system continuously monitors and therefore improves outcomes. No fancy or expensive technology, just a smarter use of resources and a better way to gather and respond to information. Across the ocean in Uganda, RTM is also transforming service delivery thanks to cell phone technology. We all know SMS as the text, a handy tool that lets us send messages to our friends in a nanosecond. In Uganda, the text is being used for something a little different, improving healthcare. To overcome widespread shortages of medical supplies, UNICEF Uganda developed a rapid SMS application that enables public health workers to use their personal cell phones to report on stock levels and usage rates of anti-malaria medicines. Thanks to this initiative called MTRAC, 
Vital health information is made instantly available via SMS and a web-based dashboard to government managers. An anonymous SMS hotline also allows for service complaints to be crowdsourced and validated. At the end of the day, MTRAC is improving the access and availability of health services to all Ugandan citizens. As we step back, the experiences from Bangladesh, Yemen, Uganda and beyond have taught us much about the potential role for RTM to benefit the most vulnerable. We found that it can be cost effective, that the frequency of data collection needs to be appropriate to the context and adjusted as needed. RTM is not just about collecting data, analyzing, communicating and acting on the information is equally important. Randomized sampling and combining qualitative and quantitative information makes RTM more efficient and actionable. And most importantly, reaching the most vulnerable is not easy. It requires overcoming multiple challenges, including geographic isolation, lack of connectivity, language and cultural barriers, and even mistrust. It also involves necessary and sometimes difficult alliances between public and private entities, and we know that that's not always simple. But if we're able to take what we've learned and apply it to a country-led set of standards that ensure the equity and quality of RTM initiatives, sustainable national RTM systems are possible everywhere. And that means a world in which the vulnerable are accounted for, their voices heard, and their challenges addressed. Sounds like a pretty nice world, don't you think? Join forces with UNICEF on the quest to unnest the momentum in RTM for faster, more inclusive, and quality information.